Screenwriters, if you make this grammar error, your screenwriting will get three times better. So please make this mistake. I am Carl T. Rogers, story philosopher. I'm a writer and director, helping you to leverage visual storytelling for your screenwriting. Today, I'm gonna to teach you a simple and easy way that you can make your action lines, your scene descriptions, much stronger for all of your screenplays. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about grammar. Now, if you don't like grammar, tough. <laughs> but seriously, as a screenwriter, even if you're not in love with grammar, you still need to know grammar if you wanna call yourself a screenwriter. What is this mistake that I'm talking about? I'm talking about sentence structure and specifically how you create a sentence. Now, the mistake that you really should try to use more often in your screenplay, mistake, is sentence fragment. Now, sentence fragment is something that your English teacher um, probably told you to never use, and normally your English teacher would be right. When you're doing formal writing, like in an essay, an, a news article or something like that, you don't wanna use a sentence fragment. But for a screenplay, if you do it the right way, it can actually help your writing. So there's a good way to use a sentence fragment in your screenplay and there's a bad way to use it. But before uh, I go into that, let's actually talk about what a sentence fragment is. And here's where we're gonna get into the grammar part. <laughs> a complete sentence, as we would typically think of it, is defined grammatically as an independent clause, meaning it is a single thought that can stand alone by itself. It is independent. <laughs> and in order to be an independent clause, it needs to have a subject and a verb. The subject is the thing doing something in the sentence, and the verb is the thing that it's doing. The cat languishes on the floor. The cat is the subject, languishes is the verb. And so that is an independent clause. And so if you're missing either the subject or the verb, you can have a sentence fragment. And so how you do that sentence fragment will determine whether or not it's good for your screenplay or bad for your screenplay. If you leave out the verb, you get something like the cat on the floor. What is the cat doing? You have to kind of try to figure out what it's doing. It could be eating, it could be languishing like we talked about, it could be sleeping. We don't really know what it's doing. And so that is the bad kind of sentence fragment that you want to avoid in your screenplay because there's no verb there. And all storytelling is about people doing stuff, so you need to have that verb in there. But the good kind of sentence fragment that you can use that'll make your writing stronger is where you remove the subject. So we can say, languishes on the floor. However, this only works if we know what the subject is based on the context of the sentence. So if I was gonna do a, a one-line screenplay and I just said languishes on the floor, it wouldn't work because we don't know who or what is languishing. But if you've already established that there's a cat and the cat's name is Mickey, you could say something like, Mickey's depressed, languishes on the floor. You know, you don't have to say he languishes on the floor because we know that based on context, the person languishing, in this case the cat languishing, is Mickey. That's why you can kind of get away with it in screenwriting is because screenwriting is all about brevity. It's about being very pithy. And so when you drop the article or the subject from the sentence, if you know what the what the subject is based on context, if you know who that noun or pronoun is supposed to be, then you can shorten the sentence to make it more direct. Uh, another example of a bad fragment would be, as he sits alone in the dark kitchen, <laughs> it sounds like something's gonna come after it, right? It's because normally that phrase would be a dependent clause with like a comma and then there'd be something after it. But if you just have it by itself, it don't make no sense. So you can't use it. But if you already know who is sitting and what their, you know, what the context is for that scene, you could use the good fragment of sits alone in the dark kitchen. And so that's why uh, you need to be able to distinguish not just what a sentence fragment is, but also the right way and wrong way that it should be used or not used in screenwriting. Uh, this example is from Alien. All right. And this is kind of one of the first times this type of writing was introduced into screenwriting and kind of set the stage for how we write screenplays nowadays. You can see a ton of sentence fragments in here. Stands, looks around, stretches, scratches, moves off. All of those are technically fragments, but they work based on the context because we know who's doing what, what's going on in the scene, and what the surroundings are. So to add these other actions in here on top of that context means that we can read through it quickly, we understand what's happening, 
and we can go to the next scene. Finally, one more example, let's look at silence. Deserted, huts in disrepair, broken plates and cups and bits of furniture strewn in the dust, doors broken. So there's a couple sentence fragments in there too, but it totally works because we're explaining what's going on in a much more visual way without worrying about the extra words in there that we don't actually need. So the reason this works is because it's all about visual storytelling, because you're trying to write what people can see, and most of what we see in movies is people saying and doing things. Use the good sentence fragment by uh, omitting the subject if you know based on context what the subject is, and it'll make your screenwriting uh, more direct, uh, more brief and pithy to the point, and faster to read, and therefore a better reading experience. And so depending on the tone and the pace that you want your scenes to happen at, this is another tool in your toolbox to use to write more visually. Match that like button if you learned something. Let me know down in the comments if there's another uh, technique or script you want, me to, you want me to break down. And if you want to learn more about visual storytelling, I've got a short tutorial with a lot of different techniques like this one, and you can watch that video right here. Are you watching it? Have you clicked? It's all about visual storytelling for your screenwriting. And I'm a director. Visual storytelling. Watch it.